Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to jump into my cardboard filing box which holds all my skies paper. I've got uh, separate folders for day skies, sunsets, clouds and night skies. And today I'm um, going to choose a night sky to go around this chandelier and this is going to be for my outside in glue book. This um, advertisement that I'm working on was inside this Verve magazine which we flipped through last week. Right, so one of the most amazing sources of my night skies has been this free brochure that I picked up in my local library back in 2019. I have actually photocopied pages of it because it's just so incredibly useful and I don't want to lose it as a master resource. So I'll just put the, that over there for now and I'll show you this. Interestingly enough, each copy that I got of this brochure had slightly different colour, so that, that just suited me perfectly. Aren't they beautiful? I love the purpley colours. Okay, and um, I have a folder here of um, offcuts and copies from that brochure, so I will check those out to see if there's something I can use here, but at this stage, I'm thinking probably not. However, I will show you how I did use them <clears throat> you can see I've used the sky as a background here in this collage play page spread from a coloring book called the night voyage now when I first started this book I was um going through it with pencils and pastels and really just not getting the colour depth that I wanted. So it was a, a bit of a godsend when I discovered collage and um, I decided to work my way on through the book which will be gifted to my granddaughter eventually. So on my YouTube channel you will see a flip through of this entire book. Okay, so here are the other folders for Night Sky. Let's put that over there. Get this advertisement back up again. I've got one with just a folder with just small pieces of sky in. So uh, there's sort of off cuts and, and small bits that are useful if you're just wanting to pop in a interesting sky and then I've got this folder of bigger sky papers that I have saved so let's have a little look through these now it is sad isn't it when they put um, writing all over everything so while I quite like that sky I don't think I'll be using that one this one hmm it's possible, I'll put it aside. That one's quite cool, isn't it? Although the chandelier would take away all that central part. No, I don't think so. Not enough happening in there, I don't think. Mm. Look at this one. Uluru in Australia. Yes, that's possible. I want to get away from the browns of the couch. This one here, I don't think there's enough of it. Look at the landscape in there. Isn't that fabulous? This one here? No, I don't think so. That's quite cool, but I think it's a little bit dark. 
that's class. Ah, this could be a start, aren't you? And it looks like I've got several copies of that, so that might work quite well. Okay, put the other two copies aside. No, too much writing. Now, while this one mightn't be bad, it's also picking up all those warm brownie tones that are in the couch, and I don't really want that. I want a bit more contrast than that. Hmm. Actually, the spaceman could be more used in the future. Once again, snippets of sky. Oh, why did they write all over it? I think we had that one before, didn't we? Yeah. Writing. Mm, isn't this fabulous? Look at that. But no, I'll save that for another purpose. Mm, a rainbow. Not today, I don't think. That's a bit too just graphic. Writing everywhere. That's the tail of the side of it. That's quite cool, but not for this. Hmm, lovely. <laughs> now, if you cut Downton Abbey uh, characters out of that, that could be quite cool. This is a nice sky. Sadly, that's got writing right across it. But, no, just a bit lopsided. No. See that one? That's quite cool, isn't it? Not for this though. Might a peak in the South Island? No. It's not bad, but hmm, too blue, too pale. No. That is fabulous, but not in this. Oh, there's the other half of it. Excellent. <laughs> this is actually a photo that some relatives took. Um, no. This one would have been actually quite, quite good if they hadn't gone and drawn little crosses everywhere. This is another one of the sort of brownie ones that I've used a bit in the past. It fits. It's quite cool too. We had that one before. And the Eiffel Tower. And another brownie one. Okay, I actually find my box of Skies papers just terrific to look through if I'm feeling a bit below par. It's really uplifting. <laughs> okay, so I've got two or three contenders here. That looks like the same. Yeah, that's the same as that. Okay, two contenders then. So that's quite good. So what I'm going to do is... Um, and rather than using scissors, I'm going to tear around and put the sky around there. And I'm thinking with the floor, I'm going to look for some very dark leaves um, and just bring them up like that so that it looks so the couch will seem to be nestled in amongst trees. So that's going to cover up the drums, but that's okay. Uh, I've got a top hat on the couch. I was thinking I might quite like to have a tiger or something lined out on the couch. I'll see where that takes me. Um, when I eventually finish this, I'll uh, post a, uh, the sky section of it as the cover image for this video. So I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe one of these days we'll get to have a look at the sunsets and the day skies and the clouds. Bye.